Hi everyone, my name is Heidi Scott and today I am DIY dreaming about glass etching on Pyrex dishes and on olive oil and vinegar uh, bottles. So I'm super excited to show you this idea. Um, I'm going to show you the start of it, how you um, apply the stencil, what the process is with the glass etching cream, and then I will come back with pictures of the completed projects because they require about 10 minutes or so to um, let the etching cream do its magic. So let me just get started. I'll start, I think, with the glass Pyrex dish. Um, I don't know about you, but I have a ton of these things hanging out in my cabinets. Most of mine look really terrible because I've been using them for a long time. And these things, seriously, they don't ever die. They just keep getting uglier and uglier. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do glass etching here in the center. And I am going to use a product called Glass Etching Cream from a maker studio. And I will, for this project, also be using a stencil that has a Paris motif of all different fonts, from, also from a maker studio. And I'll include um, here with this video a link in case you're interested in purchasing this glass etching cream, this Paris stencil, or anything else. Okay, so to get started, um, let me tell you about glass etching cream. Basically what this stuff does is it um, eats away at the surface of your glass so that you have a flatter, less translucent surface. Um, glass etching using this product, I don't know about other products, uh, is permanent, it's dishwasher safe, it's microwave safe, it's oven safe and it's food safe. So you can etch glass and then cook with it and eat out of it and be completely fine. And then throw it in the sink and throw it in the dishwasher and you're good to go. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna be using this Paris stencil. And what I wanna do is I wanna sort of look at the stencil and decide where I want my focus, excuse me, to be. And um, I'll show you once I get it laid down. These stencils from a Maker Studio are really easy to work with because they have, uh, they're sticky on the back, and they're also a mesh, almost fabric-y kind of um, material. And so they have a little stretch to them, and you can sort of curve them around the shapes that you're dealing with. So I'm going to be pressing this particular stencil into the center of my Pyrex dish. And I'll show you that in just a second. And I'm trying to smooth out all the air bubbles because when I apply the glass etching cream, I want it to stay on the top of the stencil and just go through the holes and not go underneath the stencil and um, you know bleed under. Okay, so this is what I have. Can you see how I have, let me move this out of the way. I have basically um, pushed it so that it's the stencil is bending around the edges. Okay, and um, to use this particular glass etching cream, what you're gonna do is you're gonna apply a, um, a generous coat. This stuff lasts forever, by the way. You're gonna apply a generous coat of the glass etching cream over the stencil in the areas that you want it to be. Then you will let that sit for maybe 10 minutes. I mean, you can, you can pull it off as soon as five, but I always leave it a little bit longer just to give this um, etching cream a little more time to do its thing. Then you'll pull the stencil off and these stencils from a Maker Studio are super easy to wash. I'll just throw it in the sink, run some uh, cool water with my sprayer get all the etching cream off, and then I'll lay it on the counter with the sticky side up, and that does the trick. And um, I don't know about other etching creams, but this etching cream from a Maker Studio doesn't hurt the stencils. So it's a win-win-win. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm using an artist brush, and I'm just going to take some big globs, make sure I'm still pressed down good. Yep. 
and I um, am just gonna start applying it like I'm, I don't know, painting almost. Uh, and I am going to be careful not to get this etching cream in my eyes or on my skin uh, because it is a, a type of an acid. But unlike other um, etching creams out there, I can do this safely in the house and I don't have to be covered in protective gear like, um, you know, surgical gloves, plastic surgical gloves and, and eye protection, unless you want to. Um, if I do sometimes get a little bit of this, sorry, as soon as I start recording, my dogs go crazy. Um, if I do happen to get some of this on my hands, um, there's no need to panic. I'll just go to the, the kitchen sink and wash it off with some hand soap quickly. And that's basically it. Now, when I'm applying this, you can see it looks kind of like watered down frosting, but it's pretty thick. Um, I want to make sure not to go outside of the stencil because it will etch the glass and it will look messy if you do that. So around the edges, I'm going to be more careful. Let's see. Okay, and you can sort of hear it doing its thing. Can you hear that at all? Okay, so I think I basically got it coated. This will sit for 10 minutes and then I'll pull the stencil off and rinse it in the sink. Let me show you the next project. I'm really excited about that one. I'm gonna stick my brush right here. Okay, the next, oh, and that Pyrex dish, by the way, this is a fabulous deal. I purchased this this week at my local Target store. It was in the glass picking dish section and it was only $4.99. So next up, I'm gonna show you how to um, etch one of these olive oil and vinegar bottles. This little guy here came from my local dollar store and it was $1. And um, I forgot to mention this before, but a maker studio has this great um, product bundle right now where you get a bottle of etching cream, a nice artist brush, and this awesome stencil. I know it's backwards, but it says, has some great um, words in there. Be still and know, that's a reference to a um, Bible verse. Faith over fear, simplicity, love, happiness, peace, blessed, courage, gratitude, and hope. And this stencil can be used for glass etching products. It can be also used with chalk art, with um, gel ink to do um, projects, to stencil projects on fabric. Um, and it can even be used with paint. So uh, these stencils are super versatile. So this is, some of these words from this combination are what I will be showing on this uh, vinegar and oil bottle today. Okay. So I have cut this stencil into little pieces. The white lines are where you're, um, where you're supposed to cut it. And I'm just gonna put on my glasses so I can see, and I'm gonna lay my stencils onto the bottle and press them down. You can see how that sticks. I will lay the different words all the way around the bottle, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, and I think I'll probably stencil all four sides of this. See what I mean? Happiness, gratitude, uh, I'll put blessed right here. And they can be sort of positioned in different spots. Um, they don't have to all start or stop at the same spot, but I'm only going to show you how to put the um, etching cream on just one side of it because it's like watching paint dry. Okay, so I think 
what I will start with showing you is this part here that says happiness, okay? And then I'll um, make sure that I share the pictures of the completed projects. So it's the same thing. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention this as well. Before you start any glass etching product, you wanna make sure that you thoroughly clean the glass. A lot of um, glasses that you might purchase at your Target, your dollar store, uh, um, you know, at stores, they may have a film that's put on the top of them that's like a protective film, sort of like the wax that they put on fruit at the grocery store to make it look pretty. You need to make sure you get that off. And then if you're purchasing your glass at um, your local thrift store or at garage sales, those can be loaded with tons of dust and just debris from um, sitting around. So make sure you get that cleaned off too and dry it before you start your project. Okay, so I am just gonna show you. The hardest part of this whole project for me is not going outside of the edge of the stencil. Um, and it, it, it doesn't ruin a project, but it makes it look a little messy if you go outside. And it's really at the, the end or start of a word that is the most tricky. I wanna make sure I get everything covered. Um, it doesn't have to be a super thick coat because this stuff is, is really good. That's what it looks like. In 10 minutes, I'll take the stencil off, I'll rinse that out, and then I'll wash the surface of this um, oil or vinegar container and it'll be all good to go. So I hope that you have enjoyed the ideas um, and that you'll start looking around for glass Pyrex dishes, glass baking dishes, they don't have to be Pyrex. Things like olive oil and vinegar um, containers. And um, if you have any questions, just let me know. If I can help you with the project, I'd be glad to. Uh, all these projects, supplies, um, came from a maker studio and I will include a link where you can have a look and make a purchase if you would like. All right, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll be up again soon. I'm doing a whole series on glass etching. I'll be up again soon with other really fun, let me give you a little teaser, ideas for things that you can do with glass etching. Last night, I etched this beer mug using that same pair of stencil. It was super easy. This beer mug, uh, or it could be used for anything else, was $1 from my local do dollar store. So, Okay, have a great day. Thanks for watching.